Okay, it is Friday, September 30. It has been actually two months since I inspected this hive. Uh, I'm a little bit behind, kind of feel bad about that, but I've been busy. Uh, the last time I was in it, I did a mite away treatment. Uh, hopefully the bees are doing good. People asked a question about how the, the treatment gets down between the hot, uh, uh, the frames in a in a layens hive because the tops of the hives, I mean the tops of the bars, the top bars of each frame butt up against each other. They, there isn't a gap like there is in a Langstroth hive. Uh, but I'm actually I'm actually open from about here over. My frames only go from here this way. So I'm assuming that uh, the treatment would flow over the top and go down over the side. Uh, I'm assuming any kind of treatment is better than none. But anyway, let's get into this and see what we have going on. Before, before I do that, I'm probably going to close this hole off. Uh, later on for the winter because like I said there's nothing over here but open space hopefully they didn't build a bunch of comb there but anyway I want to measure this for how long I need to cut it this is going to be my my plug basically so there's that that's taken care of so I don't forget and that'll that'll be cut and then put in there to close that side off I have uh, entrance reducers for my other Langstroth hives I'm going to check out later after I'm done with this. So let's get to work here, see what we got. The comment I had on my last inspection was why I was standing in front when the holes are here, and that's a good question. I don't know why I was, so I'm definitely going to uh, stand, try to stand either behind or on the side this time. I can get this thing off. First time they actually glued this lid down. Alright, let's get a little bit of smoke in here. No, totally what I was afraid of. Like I said, it's been two months since I've been in here. And it's open from here over, and look at that, they built a bunch of comb in the open spot. I kind of figured that, my own fault. Look at that, my own fault. Got a bunch of honey there that I just popped open. Oh, that's some beautiful comb work though. There's a big, a big piece right here. A couple pieces actually. Uh, I'm going to go get a box because I'm going to need to, I can't leave this like this, I just can't. So I have a, an empty swarm trap. Uh, and I'm going to use to put this, this extra comb in. I really can't have them. I really can't have. I should have had a divider here. I don't have a divider yet. Uh, so that's my own fault. But uh, I'm going to be taking a lot of honey from them because of this. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you know, the extra deep Langstroth frames and they are probably full since they ran out of room and needed to build off to the side so I should be fine. They should be fine. I feel bad about 
about this. It's my own fault because I didn't get out here and give them. Uh, I did not give them uh, more frames to build in. Uh, they're going to be mad at me, and I don't blame them. Some of them already ran out of smoke. Off. Literally. Literally. I gotta try to cut this comb out. And there is definitely honey in here. Uh, a lot of frame, a lot of comb, and a lot of honey. heavy, I'm having a hard time getting a hold of it. Uh, it's one piece. Hopefully I can get this whole piece this time. Because this thing is big. There we go, look at that. Look at that honey all over my hands. Uh, sorry, ladies. I'm sorry I had to do this. But I really do have to do it. <clears throat> I think I have frames in my truck, I hope I do, that I can put in here and fix this problem. They're buzzing my veil because they're not happy. Don't blame you, ladies. I do not blame you. Okay. Another big old chunk. They've got a big piece coming off of the uh, frame here on the end and attached to the bottom, so I'm going to have to cut that out. hear me call myself grandpa because I'm a grandpa so I talk to myself in the third person as grandpa okay. I'm sorry ladies I am sorry got it all taken care of here. Unfortunately, I probably crushed a couple bees getting it up, getting up the comb, the extra comb out of here. Uh, all right. Some of them actually probably got drowned in the honey that's oozing all over the place. Uh, all right, so these are the mite away strips on the top. I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna put them over there for now. I'll pick them up later. I won't leave them later. And while I'm here, I'm gonna check a couple frames out and see how they're doing. Honey everywhere. This is a real pain. Okay. That one's up. That one's up. All right. Check out this frame. Very heavy. That is all honey. 
all honey. You can see where I cut up here on this side here. You can see where I cut and at the bottom where I cut the stuff out that really shouldn't have been there. Uh, I'm only going to look at a couple of things here. I don't know if I'm going to look at all eight. Just make sure. I mean, it's pretty obviously they're doing well. They overgrew the space. And I don't have a whole lot of time here. Oh, this is a very heavy frame. All honey. And I can see that the next frame is only, well, I'll pull it out and then I'm going to stop here. The next frame is only about 25% honey. And there's some brood there. You can see the brood. The brood is the orange colored stuff. Same on this side. You can see some brood right here. Uh, just going to kind of look and see if the queen is on here. Real quick. Like I said, there is there is brood, so I definitely have a queen. Look on this side. I'm just looking real quick. But I do not see her. So I'm going to put this all back together. The other side, this next one looks pretty much the same. And I'm sure they are all going to look like that. So I'm going to put this thing back together. Oh, the tiny frames are heavy. I have to get a, a uh, divider board. I really do. I think I have uh, an extra frame in here. I hope I do. I do not. I only have a uh, Langstress um, frames. I forgot to bring my layings extras. I gotta cut the comb off the roof here. Sorry, ladies. See that big old thing? It's all honey on this side. A little bit of honey on the other side. Okay. I think one was trying to sting me through my knee. The problem is going to be I got a bunch of bees all over in the box. I'm going to want to stay in the box where the honey is. I'm taking the honey home with me. i got to try and get as many out as I can. It's not going to be easy. I'm just going to have to smoke the crap out of it and hope they get the message. So I'll do that here in a minute. All right. Still got some smoke going here. I do. Try to get as many of them out of here as possible. back on a while.
and get more out of there real quick. Look at that honey dripping off the side there. Right here, there's honey dripping. Don't, don't, the bees will clean that all up. Not going to be able to get them all, but boy, that's a lot of honey. Okay, so I am done with this one. I'm going to check out that'll be stuck to me. If she survives. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop this and go check my other three hives. One of them is actually already dead, I noticed the other day, but we'll check that out. Here we go.